No one's going to university. This is the 100 baby challenge. No one gets educated beyond high school in this challenge. Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Hethwin and we are back today to play some more of our 100 baby challenge with our matriarch, Josephine. In our last episode, we had our twins Ruby and Amber age up into teenagers. Ruby is a vampire and is a little bit evil and doesn't really seem to care who she drinks plasma from. We also had the youngest, the newborn Jordan, age up into an infant. Josephine is very close to giving birth to baby number 31. We also celebrated Winterfest in which Ruby got in a fight with Father Winter. So Ruby is a handful. And if we come over into the game now, we are just kind of wrapping things up with Winterfest and are kind of needing to deal with the aftermath of that. Josephine is in here potty training Jordan, who is wide awake, and that's fine because after he's done going potty, he can work on his skills. He needs to get all of his toddler skills to level three before he can age up into a child. Jamie, the youngest, is the infant. He is in here sleeping and getting hungry, so he'll probably need to wake up and eat soon. For our infants, we are looking at getting three milestones in each of the categories of a fine motor, first, gross motor, and social. So he has some work that he needs to do. He's had, met all of his first, but we need some of those other skills happening. But he hasn't been an infant for very long. Faith is the child in the family, and she needs to get an A and have high confidence before she can age up. She does have the high confidence, she just needs that A, which I suspect we may see when she goes to school today. Finally, our teenagers, Amber and Ruby, who need a character value and range to earn it. Ruby is maxed in her responsibility, and Amber is very close and they also need A's in school. They are both B students so they're not quite ready for that yet but we could have Ruby get some homework done. Where is your homework Ruby? Oh, you are attacking Blarfy. Don't attack Blarfy. That's rude. Maybe, oh this must be your homework. Okay come do your homework. Josephine is almost to her third trimester so the baby should be born today. No don't go wake up your sister. Go do toys or something. Come stack shapes. Josephine needs to eat. So why don't you come and get some leftovers out of the fridge? Okay, we do need to kind of look and see what people got for Winterfest and sell some things so we can get a little bit more money. Uh, looks like Josephine got a rock or some metal. Okay, Ruby got nothing in her inventory. What she does have a bike, which... We'll maybe take out of her inventory and just kind of like put on the lot somewhere because it's a kid's bike and then like maybe Faith can learn how to ride a bike, but we can sell these things. So let's sell those. Okay, what does Amber have? Amber has a carrot and a book and a llama thing. Okay, I guess we'll put this away, put that away. She also has a bike because they were twins, so we can take this out. Faith, you need to go to sleep. Why are you in the bath? You need to be asleep. Go to sleep. She got a lump of clay and a Boo Billy Doctor place. Actually, that might not be a bad idea to hang on to. We can hang on to that as something for her to play with because I think that gets their empathy up and their thinking skill. So that could be a good addition. I have anything in his inventory and he's an infant. Okay, Josephine, come and feed him. And let's get rid of this destroyed pile of presents and see what's in our household inventory. Ooh, a whole bunch of seed. Oh my goodness, a lot of seed packets. Let's get rid of these. We do have like a little garden, but we're not actually doing anything with it. So I'm not going to save the seed packets. Well, selling all that stuff gave us a lot of money. We now have 25,000 simoleons. So we should be good for a bit. This toddler keeps trying to go in and wake up his siblings. And this is not, okay, stop doing it. Why don't you come babble at Blarfy a little bit and then do some more shapes. How are you doing on your thinking skill? You're getting close to level three. So stop trying to wake up your siblings, leave them be, and yeah, we'll be good there. So Ruby, who doesn't really get along with her twin Amber, actually gets along really well with the younger ones. So she's in here doing some tummy time with Jamie, which isn't what you would expect for her. You would expect that she's since she's an evil vampire, she probably would be mean to her siblings. 
But she is really nice to Jordan and Jamie and has a decent relationship with both of them. Josephine has taken over the tummy time and is in here trying to get little Jordan to lift his head up. The older kids have school soon. And Jordan reached level three of the thinking skill. So this is really good. We love that. Jamie has unlocked the reach milestone. So that's his first fine motor skill he has unlocked. Okay, and everybody is going to head off to school that can go to school. Oh, and he's also unlocked the coup milestone. All right, so he's in here, like, looking at his toys and kind of going crazy, and that is stimulating him enough that he is unlocking some new skills. We're going to send Josephine out to do more upgrading of her rocket ship so that when the time comes, we can have her travel off to Sixum. She's going to have to put a wormhole thing on there, but she's not quite high enough in the rocket science skill yet. So we're going to work on that. we got plenty of money to do it. We we'll have to keep an eye on her, though, because it is pretty cold. Jordan is in here. He is okay. He is playing with some toys. And Jamie is probably going to fall asleep because he's really sleepy. So he's just going to fall asleep on his little infant mat here. And he will be okay. He might not think he's going to be okay, but he will be okay. He just needs to go to sleep. Oh, Jamie is a self-soother, though. So this is a good thing. Okay, let's have Jordan take a little nap. He's a little bit sleepy, so he could stand a nap. You know, we don't really have another baby donor lined up, so we probably should get working on that. Let's try Nadine. All right, Nadine will be over. Let's also have Josephine make some food. Maybe we'll make her have her make a Capri salad. Jordan, where are you going, buddy? Oh, you're, you're hungry. All right, that's okay. Mom is making some food. You're all good. Okay, let's... um. Also invite in Nadine. Okay, Josephine is now in her third trimester. So baby number 31 is getting close. And we'll have to chat with Nadine a little bit and get to know her better. Okay, on first impression, Josephine thinks that Nadine is immature. But, you know, that's fine. We don't really care that much. We just need to start to talk to her and to get to know her a little bit better. And they don't have any real compatibility feelings towards each other. So that gives us some, some room to work with here. But we do need to get the next baby donor lined up. Okay, Jordan has reached communication level three. So good for him. He is cruising along with his skills. Josephine's trying to get to know Nadine, but now Jamie has woken up. So she's going to need to tend to him a little bit because he is very hungry. So let's come and let's feed him. Jordan is like having a full-blown conversation. He's like got all of the things to say. I keep missing his bladder. He's, his potty is, is the worst off. We're going to have a tough time, I think, getting his potty up if I keep missing it. Okay, he maybe needs another little nap. So let's send him in to nap a little bit so that Josephine... Okay, Josephine is taking care of Jamie. We'll change Jamie's diaper. He needs some gross motor skills. Oh, we like Nadine. She's like cleaning stuff for us. So we'll take that. Thank you very much, Nadine. Okay, we're going to change his diaper. And then I think we need to do a little bit of tummy time with Jamie. And then we can maybe go back to talking to Nadine. Although the older ones will be home soon too. So there's always the potential that we could have them do tummy time. And maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll send her back over to keep talking to Nadine. Okay, Ruby is now an A student. Amber is not, though. And Faith is an A student. So we can age up Faith. But we need to get Amber's grades up a little bit. She needs a little nap. And then we'll have her work on her school project. But Ruby... Oh, Ruby needs to eat from somebody. Okay, who's this guy? Who are you? Mark Beta. Let's go over to him and drink plasma from him. We'll compel for a deep drink. We can, though, get Faith aged up into a teenager, which would not be a bad thing because Ruby and Amber are close to moving out themselves. So we can bring Faith over. She has an A in school and she has high confidence, so we can get her aged up. Ruby, you're supposed to be going and drinking plasma from this guy. 
I mean, I suppose you could drink plasma from Nadine, but we're trying to have a baby with her, so maybe not yet. All right, Faith has aged up. Lots of chaotic things happening. So as we do, we are going to use a random number generator to determine what Faith's teenage aspiration is going to be. So coming over here and rolling between 1 and 16, we got a 1, which is animal. And our option for animal is a friend of the animals. So Faith is a friend of the animals. And let's find out what her teenage trait is going to be. She's a music lover. So she's a friend of the animals. She's active and she is a music lover. Oh my. And Nadine is over here singing to Faith in not the best way. All right. So here is Faith. We will need to give her a makeover. So let's give her a makeover. And then we will get Ruby taken care of with her plasma needs. She's active, so I gave her a little bit more of a, a sporty look. Uh, but here she is. Her baby donor was Alicia Chopra, who was also the child of Caleb Vitor. So in a really weird twist of a Sims 100 baby thing, Ruby and Amber are both her sister and her aunts. Yeah, we won't go into that, but this is Faith. Why is Ruby sad? Time to wear black from having a mood swing. I'm sad because I'm sad. You wouldn't understand. Nobody would understand. So she is in a mood swing and she's also hungry. So she is going over to hunt down her next prey for a plasma drink. Ruby is hunting down her next victim in a snowstorm and it's not going great for her. Oh no, so Arya just texted her and said, word on the street is that you've been getting in fights. You better clean up your act or you'll wind up with a terrible reputation. Ruby doesn't actually care. And the fight that she got into was with Father Winter. All right, Ruby, you are desperate for a drink. You've gone through this blizzard to hunt down Mark Beta and you are going to go after him for his plasma. The things a vampire will go through for a good drink of plasma. Okay, it did, it did hit her, hit the spot for her. Don't do your homework out here. Why don't you go back home and take a shower? Because you are stinky and you need a shower. All right, Faith is sleepy, so she's going to nap a little bit. Everybody kind of seems to nap, need to nap a bit. We got to kind of keep an eye on Jordan so that we can potty train him at the right time. Josephine is doing okay. Jamie is asleep. Okay, Amber's responsibility is in range, so this is good. That should mean that when Amber goes to school tomorrow, which is Friday, which is also a good good timing because then they won't go to school for the weekend, she will be able to get an A and then age up. So we may see a birth and another set of birthdays and some moving out. Okay, little jo Jamie is awake and doing okay. We're going to have Josephine come in here and let's tummy time with him some more. We really do need to get this kid getting some gross motor skills going for his milestone. He has his first fine motor, but he doesn't have any gross motor yet. So we need to work on him and giving him some attention. He is just kind of struggling with his gross motor skills. He's just angry. Like... I don't want to be doing this at all. He still hasn't gotten... We've done tummy time with him several times. I guess, what if we come and... We we can work on just some general, like, social skills. We could play peekaboo with him. Oh, 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 the stove has broken, it looks like. Oh, dear. Ruby, why don't you come take a... Sh okay, don't be mean to Amber. She's fixing the tub. Come take your shower. Did you take your shower already? You did. Okay, so you should do your homework. And then find something fun to do. You guys can do your homework in here, but be nice to each other. Be nice. They have a difficult family dynamic, so they don't always get along. All right, let's feed him and then change his diaper. How is Jordan doing? Oh, we're going to have to... Okay, let's wake him up and let's have Amber potty train him. Oh, he's very angry. He's a groggy monster. He hates wake up time. Good luck, Amber. But it looks like he is going to cooperate and go to the potty with Amber and get his potty skill going. Josephine is in here with this little guy just like trying so hard to get him his skills going. 
So tummy time once again, and Josephine's going to need to eat. Oh, and fix the stove too. The stove is broken. So we have that problem. A lot of chaos happening. We could have Ruby do it. Uh, this is the one perk about having Ruby in the house is she doesn't need to sleep so we can have her do things in the middle of the night so Josephine can rest but we're not going to get to keep Ruby that much longer. Okay yay Jamie has unlocked the lift the head milestone so he's got his first gross motor milestone so that's good. All right why don't you change his diaper real quickly. How is he doing? Does he need to like sleep sleep kind of? So I guess after you change his diaper you can put Jamie to bed. I don't know what Faith is. Oh, Faith is coming to watch the milestone. Oh, and he's unlocked the laugh milestone too. Very good. Faith, why don't you go to sleep? You're helping your brother with potty, so that's awesome. Keep up the good work there, Amber. And then maybe because you're pretty tired, you can also go to bed. Josephine needs some food. How's Ruby doing? Ruby needs some fun. So when she is done, she's going to need to do something fun. Apparently drinking from people isn't fun. Okay, how is Jordan? He could use a bath, but we're going to have him go to bed instead, and then he can have a bath in the morning. Okay, how about you repair the stove, and then you can eat, because you need the stove to be able to eat. I mean, I guess you don't. You can make, like, fruit salad, but still. Okay, I guess finish the veggie-wrapped tortilla dog. That's okay. You can finish that. Ooh, but pee. Go pee. You're going to pee yourself. You can hold off on eating a second. Go pee. Then you can come back and eat. Quick, pee. Go pee. Oh, phew, you made it. All right, then you can finish eating. Finish your tortilla dog, and then you need to sleep a little bit because you do have a baby coming. Ruby can, you know, make sure any of the small ones are taken care of and have all of their needs met. It'll be all right. Jamie has unlocked the grab milestone. I didn't even realize he had woken up, but he did. He woke up, and he is feeling playful, and he's pooping his pants. And he needs to eat. So this is, I think, our cue to get up Josephine to come and feed him. So what is that? What are his milestones looking like? Okay. So he's got all of his social. He's got all of his first. He just needs one more fine motor and two more gross motor before he can become a toddler. Okay. How is Jordan doing with his bladder? Okay. His bladder is fine. He is okay. We aren't going to, like, lose him to a potty escapade. All right, let's see if we can get in a quick tummy time with him before Jos or maybe Josephine will put him down and go to the bathroom. That might be a better idea, so she doesn't pee herself. All right, we'll get some more tummy time going. Let's see if we can get some more gross motor happening for this little guy. How is Jordan doing? He rolled over onto his back. Very good. Okay, let's get Jordan up so he can have something to eat. He's going to have Capri salad to eat. I mean... That's fine. We can get Josephine making some food later, but he does need to eat right now. She's crying because she's having a mood swing. All right, we'll let Jamie look at... Oh, he's playing with the toys. Okay, good. So he could get another fine motor here. So that would that would work. And then Jordan is going to get something to eat. He can have a bath when he's done. We will also invite Nadine back over. Maybe we can send her a text. Oh, we'll send her a sad text. Maybe that'll make... Because sometimes if you send them, like, sad te texts or something like that, then they'll be like, oh, I'll be right over. And we can do that and maybe get Nadine over here and start working on that next baby donor that we're going to need. The students are all heading off to school. Once Jordan is done eating, we'll give him a bath. Josephine, why don't you come take a shower since you have a moment? And then we can give a bath to Jordan. Jamie is asleep. Oh, he needs to go potty too. So once he's out of the bath, then is he level two yet? I don't think he is. No, he's not. He's very close, but he's not there yet. So quickly come and potty train him before he poops his pants. And then you can make yourself some food to eat and invite over Nadine. Okay, he has reached potty level two. So he can go potty on his own now, which is exactly what we wanted. Oh, tomorrow is New Year's Eve. Okay. No one's going to university. This is the 100 baby challenge. No one gets educated beyond high school in this challenge. Are you going to pee your pants again? Oh my gosh. Actually, I think she's really close, too, to going into labor. I think this baby is going to be arriving really soon, too. I didn't get in a fight with anybody, Aria. What are you talking about? Josephine doesn't fight with people. Okay, he still needs movement and imagination. He's got a book in his inventory. Let's have him look at the book. It's too cold, really, to send him outside to play on the slide. 
So he's going to have to just kind of toddle around the house a little bit, I think, for that, which should be fine. He can also stack blocks. We'll just have him look at the book for right now while Josephine gets a fruit salad made for herself to eat. Oh, she's got to pee again. I thought you went pee already. Go pee. Okay, stop. Go, pay, go, go to the bathroom. Quickly, you're going to pee yourself. Oh, you didn't make it. And you went into labor. It's like her water broke right then and there. <laughs> she went into labor and then she peed herself and it's it, it's all a thing so uh, yeah i guess you could take a shower before you head over to the hospital okay go have the baby at the hospital and let's go see what baby number 31 is gonna be like and will it be a spellcaster the baby donor for this baby is kendrick charm and the charms are spellcasters so the question is is kendrick also a spellcaster like all of his ancestors if so, there's a chance that this baby could very well be a spellcaster. And it looks like our doctor is also pregnant. All right, here we go. It is baby time. I do find it amusing that our baby is being delivered by another pregnant sim. I mean, she should know what to do for her own baby because this is like, the, this is not the first baby she has delivered of Josephine's either. And it is a girl. So we have a baby girl. We don't know if it is twins or not yet. So we need a name for this little girl. We are going to name her Octavia. Octavia Larson. And it's just a single birth. So only one baby this time. We did turn the ley line off. So this is where our chances of multiples has decreased. We turned the ley line off because it was really chaotic with the newborns and having twins especially when we were trying to do the thing where we were getting like so many of their milestones it just was a really bad setup and it was not very fun and it was really stressful and so we changed it and we never put the ley line back on which i'm kind of okay with okay so here is little octavia we can go do some super efficient in in newborn care Jamie is over here on the floor. All right. Still needing a couple of milestones. We should also... So we're going to have her do that. And then we're also going to have her invite Nadine to come over. And we can work on our relationship with her. We could also have a baby with Father Winter. That's also a possibility. All right. And Amber got an A in school. So... Ruby and Amber, we can age up and get moved out and on their own as well. So let's do that. We'll start with Ruby. We will come blow out her candles. The more kids we can get out of the house and on their way, the better. We do still have Faith as a teenager who can help with things. So that's good. All right, Ruby aged up. Ruby's aspiration was Master Chef, which doesn't really make sense for her, but we're going to roll with it. And her adult trait is a bro. That's also, interestingly enough, what Amber is. And she graduated with honors. They all kind of graduate with honors because they have to have A's. Okay, add birthday candles, and we will have Amber age up. We can also talk to Nadine some. We need to talk to Nadine a bit. Okay, now let's get Amber over here and have her blow out the candles. All right, now Amber has aged up. Now her aspiration was public enemy which we will put back and now her young adult trait will be a freegan that's a very interesting combination i mean i suppose there can be some dastardly freegans in the world but it just she's got a very interesting uh mix of aspiration and traits also graduating with honors and everyone in the world has sent them gifts okay josephine is over here talking to nadine She's tense about something. I don't know what, though. What if we... Let's flirt with her a little bit. Let's make a flirtatious joke, because Josephine is pretty playful. So she's going to make a little flirtatious joke and see how that goes over for Nadine. Oh, she liked it. She thought it was funny. Okay, but before we do anything else with them, we are going to move out Ruby and Amber, and we're going to just do this from Manage Worlds, I think. We're actually going to move Ruby in with the Vitors because Caleb is her father and they're all vampires. And I think that that might be a good place for her to go and she can learn more about being a vampire and maybe they'll kind of teach her a little bit more ethical way to drink plasma. So we're going to send her over there. 
And then we need to move out Amber. Now we do have a couple of her siblings living here in Willow Creek. So I think that that's what we'll do. I think we will send her over to live with them. So we've got another like household over there. So she's off to live with them. We have reduced our household in size. I did forget to give them young adult makeovers. We're just, they're not going to have a young adult makeover, I'm afraid. It's all right. And now there are only five in the house. So let's, where did Nadine go? Okay, here she is. We do need to alter Nadine as well. I'm not going to give her a full-fledged makeover. I'm just going to alter her so she can get other sims pregnant. She lives with her sisters. All right, so she will be able to get others pregnant. And we can have that her be our next baby donor. Oh, we need to change our baby count too. I keep forgetting to do that. We've now had 31 babies. Josephine has had 10 of those. All right, he is tired. Why don't we have Faith come and read Jordan to sleep? She can be helpful like that while Josephine works on this. Oh, she's learned that Nadine is a geek. Okay. The flirting went well, so let's do, let's compliment her appearance. Do a little bit more flirting. Oh no, Jordan is angry about the arrival of his sister Octavia. <laughs> He's not happy about that at all. So things are moving along in the romance department with Nadine, and Josephine is going in for a kiss with... Faith over here playing the air guitar behind her. Uh, all right. It's a very awkward encounter. It is a very awkward encounter. You've got your daughter rocking out behind you doing I don't even know what. But everyone is really flirty. We can't woohoo yet. But maybe we could go in here and they could sit and chat in Josephine's room and make it a little less awkward. Yes, there is a baby in here, but it's a baby and the baby doesn't really know. So we can try and kiss her hands. And let's see what other physical intimacy stuff. We can do like a normal kiss. Okay, we can try for pregnancy. Let's try for pregnancy with Nadine and see if we can get Josephine pregnant with baby number 32. No, don't leave. Wait, you can't leave yet. Stop. Don't leave. Wait, 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 wait. I like your outfit. Stay here. We need to try for pregnancy. You can't leave yet. Okay, we saved it. She didn't leave. We haven't, we're not done with you. You may not leave just yet. All right, so we're going to try for pregnancy with Nadine. Oh, and just as we do that, Octavia wakes up screaming, of course. So then we'll have to do our super efficient newborn care. All right, super efficient newborn care, get her taken care of, and then we will take a pregnancy test. Josephine is pregnant, so baby number 32 is on the way. And now that also means, well, I guess we can wait for her to finish cleaning our shower. I mean, might as well take advantage of that while we have it, right? All right, so she didn't actually ask us to be her girlfriend, which is good, which means that we can just go and ask to just be friends, and she won't, like, hate us forever because of it. So she's telling Nadine that they just should probably just be friends and probably be best, and that has worked out okay, and Nadine doesn't hate her, uh, Josephine doesn't feel great about it, but, you know, it's better than breaking things off. And I think that with Ruby and Amber moving out, with Faith becoming a teenager, and with the birth of baby number 31 and our next pregnancy, that's a good place to end the episode. Lots happening. We're cruising through this. We're almost a third of the way through the 100 Baby Challenge, and it's... The infants part definitely adds um, some interesting gameplay to, to the game. And yeah, I do want to know and touch on this real quickly because the next expansion pack, Horse Ranch, is coming out tomorrow. And so you will see a little bit of a break in the 100 Baby Challenge. There will not be a 100 Baby episode next week because we will be doing a little Let's Play for the Horse Ranch expansion, and there probably won't be one the week after, but the following week you can look for the next 100 Baby episode. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, please do like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!